Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Isaiah the Christ, Isaiah the Messiah, Isaiah of Nazareth. Um, if you want to know why I call God higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name <coughs> was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King, hallelujah, is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message, but I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid grey border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most. If I don't say the sinner's prayer, please check the description box or the pin. <coughs> Sorry, comment section. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel. May this channel be the home of the prophetic for you so that we can all learn together as one so that we will be in the know-how and we not we will not be in deception hallelujah thank you for those beautiful beloveds in the most that higher hallelujah who have blessed me through paypal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button thank you so 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 very 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 much from the bottom the depths of my heart for um your love offering towards me i appreciate it brothers and sisters honestly i really really do all right um also i have a little project in the form of gofundme um you read the description box of the pin comment section if you feel led to bless then do so if you don't feel led that's absolutely fine because you've got to be led by the holy spirit to give anyways all right you have to be led if it's not of the holy spirit don't do it has to be led by the Spirit of the Most High. So if you feel led to bless me um, through the project that I have through GoFund, please do so. If not, everything is all right. I still love you just the same. Hallelujah. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ. Hallelujah. But we are also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Daniel 7 verse 25 will be fulfilled. No if, but, or maybe. It's a scripture that is literally going to be fulfilled in our eyes. Lawlessness is coming. Satan through the Antichrist will say, seek to change times, laws, and seasons. It will be given to him, in, to him and this world will become lawless. Satan will rule the wor this world for a short period of time. There will be no Holy Spirit, no higher the Father, no Messiah the Son. Make sure your anchor holds in Christ. Make sure that you are found worthy to escape. I believe the worthiness Messiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 flees into the wilderness. She runs away representing the great worldwide second exodus out of babylon for highest people the woman also have 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sea the 12 sons of jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery in the 1600 a high is going to regather that nation that nation the hebrew israelite nation that's been hurt harmed dispersed scattered throughout the four corners of the earth a higher is going to regather many people say sister carrie and the regathering has happened god has already sent back his people down in israel it's not them brothers and sisters they say god went into europe in 1948 told the europeans to go back to their homeland israel for starters and i always say this look the europeans are from the caucasus mountain that is why they're called caucasian if you don't believe me go and ask vladimir putin he will tell you the truth about what is going on they're from the caucasus mountain even vladimir putin himself right his ancestors they're from the caucasus mountain that's why they're called caucasian and they're not originally from Israel, which is Africa, that is not true. So you have to understand history and know history and know what 
is around the corner. The second exodus of the Hebrew Yeshahelites that went through the transatlantic slavery. The most is going to regather um, his people out of Babylon. Every single Babylonian country where his people are, he's going to regather. All right. So after the second exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory with power, strength, and majesty to pay every man according to their reward. You want to make sure that you're on the right side of history so that when Yesiah comes to collect his people from the four corners of the earth, you're in that number. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be. Prophetic theme song, we are near. Just like the prophetic banner, we are near. And the prophetic theme song goes like this. How now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, hallelujah, yes, we are near and we can sing that song with Right, confidence. So our brothers and sisters have two ministries, one for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashaelites. Oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, brothers and sisters, I quickly want to jump on here and just cover what is going on over here in Babylon, UK. I am telling you, Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. He is the spirit of truth. And when I come in here, brothers and sisters, and I give a prophecy, I know some people will say, oh, when is your prophecy coming through? When is this? When is that? But listen to me. You must not despise prophecies, brothers and sisters, as we enter into the time of the ending. Because it's the prophecies that is going to save the church. It is the prophecies that's going to give us wisdom and tell us how to maneuver and how to go through this wicked, evil, fallen world. All right? Now, Thank you, beloved um, sister, I um, mean, the most uh, higher that has sent me a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, they've sent me an email and they said, Sakarian, look at this um, um, link. There's something going on in, in London with the water. So I clicked on the link. And when I clicked on the link, brothers and sisters, um, I read what it was saying. Listen to me. Listen, brothers and sisters. Ahaya cannot lie, and he never lies. Now, eight days ago, only eight days ago, the title of the video is The Wicked Will Say There Is No Drinking Water. That's the title of the video eight days ago. I should have got the, um, the, um, the, um, what do you call it? Hold on, brothers and sisters. Let me see if I can get the date. Hold on. Yes, brothers and sisters, I did that video on the 7th of May, 2024 the 7th of may 2024 where the most higher gave me a powerful vision um on that day where i saw here in babylon uk on the shelves there's no water no drinking water normally i have loads of visions about uh visions dreams and revelation concerning water drinking water especially and in these visions you know I, there are drinking water on the shelf but it is very very limited so you still can get your water in these vision uh, but it's very very limited but in this vision on the 7th of may 2024 no water at all like zero, none of it, nothing, no water. And in the vision, I told you that um, the wicked is going to come around with tanks telling the people to fill up their buckets, this and that, and what have you, so that they can get a um, drinking water. But to say to go to the shops to buy drinking water, it's a no-no, and the taps will be turned off, right? So when I opened this link and I began to read, the first thing that the Lord put in my spirit is sewage. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? Almighty oh, God. Sewage water down there in London, Babylon, UK. People are drinking sewage water. Not purified. Not go through the proper um, uh, un or uncontamination or decontamination process you're just pumping the water through the pipes and people are drinking it 
Now, I don't know if it's breaking news over here in Babylon, UK, because I do not follow the news, um, I must admit. So, it might be breaking news now over here in Babylon, UK, but I'm going by the link of what the beautiful beloved has sent to me. And it basically says that um, so far about 100 people have been sick down there in London and some have been hospitalized. And they've been hospitalized because the water that they've been drinking straight from the tap is filthy. Mighty God of creation, these people are so wicked. It is filthy. It is contaminated with a, I can't even pronounce it, it's a type of worm that lives in the intestine lives in the intestine and causes diarrhea and fever and weak muscle and it can kill you especially those with um you know compromised immunity but they says within a month those people who have good immunity will get better within a month's time brothers and sisters are you listening are you understanding what is going on i cannot lie I never lies. I have been warning, I've been warning, I've been warning about water since 2018. Yeah, I'm so calm. Um, Close back the door, darling. Thanks. Yeah. Since 2018, I've been warning brothers and sisters concerning water contamination i need to do a playlist on it actually so that it's easy for you to find so you understand what i'm talking about so i haven't done the playlist yet but i will be doing a playlist um i'm gonna call it water water contamination water contamination honestly because this needs to be said i cannot lie brothers and sisters yes it is it is going on right now in babylon uk down there in london but it will spread throughout the uk there is not going to be any water on the shelves because now people are going to be um a little bit hesitant not a little bit but will be hesitant to drink the water from the tap and even if it's boiled even if it's boiled right there's going to be some hesitancy so what you think is going to happen that's right they will be running to the supermarkets and the store to buy bottled water. And so there is going to be a shortage of bottled water, spring water here in Babylon, UK. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I cannot lie. I had a vision, 7th of May, 2024, no water on the shelf. And then this news came out. What date are we in today? 7th, 8, 9, 10, maybe um, the, the 10th or the 9th. The 10th or the 9th of May had a vision on the 7th and then this news came out either the 10th or the 9th of May or 11th, one of those days concerning um, no, no, uh, concerning people are getting sick from drinking the, 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 the tap water. You know, one person says that they knew something was wrong with the tap water because as they was drinking it, it tasted weird. It tasted funny. It tasted off. It tasted rotten. <laughs> That's because the water is coming from the sewage, brothers and sisters. My God, Jesus. Father God of creation, Ahaya, please. How wicked can these people get? Mighty God of creation, Father, help your people. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you, this water is directly coming from sewage it's sewage water it only looks clean so what the wicked has done because that's what they are they're wicked obviously it's not going to run through your tap looking like poo poo water because people are going to know and it's going to smell and stink so they disguise it so they filter it out it looks like normal water you see what i'm saying to you brothers so you're going to tell me that these wicked people oh they forgot to purify the water so they had time to make the water they had time to filter the water so it looks like normal looking clear water but the infection and bacteria is still in it so what you're going to tell me that oh they forgot to purify the water no it's done on purpose 
very wicked and evil people. But that's why we warn the body of Christ. We warn the church of what is to come. Because we know that Satan is on his last leg. And he ain't playing. He's, he's, he's out there fighting tooth and nail. To deceive our highest people. To kill us off. To get us into hell with him. And all sorts of wickedness. But those of us with the power of Ahaya will rise like the star. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you, don't be drinking, you know, stop drinking the, the tap water. They may come out, you know, up here where I live, up here in Yorkshire, we call it Yorkshire somewhere, right? They said, oh, Yorkshire got the best drinking water in all of UK. I don't drink it. I used to drink it, brothers and sisters. And let me tell you something. Back in the days when I used to drink the water over here, my stomach just feel, I feel sick. This was way before even I had kids over here in Babylon, UK. You used to just go to the top and just turn it on and just drink it. And I used to feel so sick. It feels like something heavy was sitting in my stomach. And when I complain to people or my family, they're like, oh, no, no, the water is fine. Nothing is wrong. But from then, brothers and sisters, it was drip, drip, drip. They've been tampering with the water. So now in 2024, they come out full swing with no care in the world. Giving the people poo poo water to drink. That's what they've been drinking in London. Sewage water. It's literal sewage water, brother. Oh, my God. Father, I love you, Lord. Literal sewage water. So this um, parasite that is found in the water, like I say, I can't pronounce it. It's a cyprotichic, cypro, Christ, cripo something sort of worm that lives in the gut. It particularly um, affects children. That's what they say. So they're going after the kids. They want our children to be sick. They want our children to be sick. But a lot of people so far say that, you know, over 100 people have been sick down there in Babylon, UK, London, with this contamination, feces, water. How can you do that? How can you do that to humanity? You are in control of our drinking water. And um, you are supposed to make sure that it is filtered. But on purpose. Yes, they're going to come out and say, oh, it was a mistake. We didn't know. Really? Really? But you have to, but this is, this is the thing that I'm saying. How can it be a mistake? They had time to filter the water to make it look like clear running water. This is what I'm saying. So they had time to filter the water so it comes through our pipes and it looks like normal water. But you're telling me that they couldn't purify the water. They forgot to purify the water. Really? Very wicked and evil people. Get me so upset when I think about it, brothers and sisters. But I've, been, I've stopped drinking Babylon UK water since I would probably say 2007. Or way before that, really and truly. I probably think way before, maybe 2005. I would say I stopped drinking Babylon UK water. Because I just, it just didn't agree with me. Made me sick. And I've just drink, been drinking bottled water from there on. But something is up, brothers and sisters. And in the vision that the Most High showed me, because there is no water on the shelves in the supermarkets and in the store. Um, and because they've also turned off the tap water, because for whatever reason they have, they sent tanks. Tanks coming out to serve the people with water. <laughs> oh my God. Father God, help the people. Tanks. So I would say to people, buy up your water. I went the other day to the store and I bought loads of water. And I'm going to get some more tomorrow. Very, very important, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. you know, if, but, or maybe, especially those of you who live in Babylon, UK, you need to buy up your water because I'm telling you, there is going to be no water on the, sh no water on the shelves. Not limited water, not in the, when the Divock 19, you know, when in 2020, the water was limited. Like, yes, you could go in the shop, but you only could buy a certain amount, like two bottles, that's it. 
but but at least you still could get water but this that is coming brothers and sisters like no water at all on the shelves plus they're going to turn off the tap water so you know it's going to be chaotic you know it is going to be chaotic over here in babylon uk so if you're hearing this video you need to buy water and put it down you might say how much water can we buy as much as you can as much as you can like i say i've bought some and um tomorrow by the grace of the most uh, higher i'm going back to the shop to get some more water buy up as much as you can brothers and sisters because there's a shortage of water that is coming or, or should i say there's not going to be any water on the shelf because this thing is going to spread this sewage that's what it is sewage water they give to the people how can they do that you think about that it's horrible isn't it absolutely absolutely disgusting it's absolutely horrific and it's horrible so now the people are being sick i don't know if there's any deaths hope there isn't but from what i've understand from what i've read is that um there are severe cases there, there are severe cases, brothers and sisters. So, <coughs> sorry, brothers and sisters. So, like I say, you know, right now in Babylon, London, that's where it begins. <laughs> that is where it begins. But I do believe it's gonna, um, it's going to echo throughout the UK. Something. You see, one of the quickest ways to get to the people is through water and food. Mm. Through water and food. And in one of the visions, I can't even pronounce the name, where's my iPad? In one of the visions I had in 2020, 19, I believe, 2020, 19, where the water business was coming up. And, um, and the Lord showed me what was happening to the water. There was a bacteria that the Lord showed me in 2019 that's going to be listed in the water. It's called Lister, list bacteria. Let me, if, if I can type it in, um, bacteria, list. Oh, but I want to find the name, list, listeria. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listeria, a higher. The most uh, higher showed me around about 2019, 2018, that there's going to be listeria in the water. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? What is listeria? How do you get listeria? Listeria can be spread to people by several different methods. Eating contaminated food with the bacteria um drinking milk vegetable obviously a water and stuff like that so listeria um hold on one second brothers and sisters i do apologize if i'm pausing in between the videos um right so this listeria business that the most i showed me in 2018 it's a it's a bacteria it's a parasite that invades the cellular system of human beings. Uh, it, no, it was normally con listen. It was normally confined to animals, but now it's now passed to the human beings. By 2024, 28 species had been identified. Um, so there's 28 different types of listeria. Can you believe that? Mighty God of creation. So now they're going to put listeria in the water. Mm -hmm. it, they said that it usually goes away on its own, but it can make some people seriously ill. Listeria. Don't forget that word, brothers and sisters. They're going to put it in the water. The Lord showed me. So do not be surprised. I'm telling you, do not be surprised when the wicked comes out and they announce that the water has got listeria in it. Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. He is the spirit of truth. I've been warning, you know, I've been giving prophecies from ever so long. And now all these prophecies are coming to, to fruition. I can even go back and re-upload 
prophecies. And that's what I'm doing at the moment, brothers and sisters. For those of you who notice, I'm going in. The most I said, go in and re-upload your prophecies when you when big when when the events begin to happen. And that is what I'm doing. Because I know, I know who Ahaya is. And when he shows me things, I don't question it. It's no if, buts, or maybes. But brothers and sisters, please, I am asking you, I'm begging you, I'm telling you. You need to buy your water in now. There's something that's desperately wrong. You see, the wicked will come with all sorts of different pandemic. It doesn't matter how it starts. You think, do you think for one jot of second, for one millimeter of second, that the wicked care how any pandemic starts? It could, it could start with dog bites. Dogs just biting up people and it turn into a pandemic. They don't care. As long as it's a pandemic and they have control. So who knows if they can start this stuff with listeria or the, the filthy, nasty, dirty sewage water that they're giving the people to drink. Who knows, brothers and sisters? So you have to be on your pews and your cues. You cannot trust the seed of Satan. They are wicked. Just like the serpent. Because they are of the serpentine bloodline. Literally, serpentine bloodline. So you cannot trust them. You must be on your guard. Go and buy your water, brothers and sisters. Go and buy as much as you can. Store them in your bedroom if the house is full. Find place in the house to store them. Right now I'm thinking, where am I going to store? Because my thing is full and... My garage is a little bit of a tip. There's stuff in it that needs to go to the tip and stuff like that, right? But you have to find place to store them waters that you're going to buy. And even in, even in Babylon, U, um, Babylon, US as well, <clears throat> buy up your water. Yes, I know that this message, you know, this drinking business is over here in Babylon, UK. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, I am telling you, you need to buy your water. Especially if you live in Babylon, you, Babylon, London. Because it's coming, I'm telling you, it is coming. They're going to switch the water off because they're going to say, oh, we can't get the water purified. That's what they're going to say. We can't purify it. Or if they do purify it, it's going to be a case people are still getting ill. It's going to be that case where people are still getting ill. People are still getting sick. So now, um, they're just going to turn the water off for a period of time. That's why you're going to have the trucks coming. The tanks coming with water, driving by people's home. Brothers and sisters, the prophecies are true. I'm telling you. I cannot lie. I never lies. He's the spirit of truth. Spirit of truth. And I thank the most I hire. You know, I thank, you know, sometimes I, I just go into amazement. I really do. I go into amazement and, and, and I think about brothers and sisters on this channel who watch this channel. And when I think about them and I said, Father, you have your people that's really listening. Because if brothers and sisters weren't paying attention, some of them would even send me articles are saying sister Karen, mighty god of creation this is what's going on but because some people are paying attention i'm not saying that people some people don't pay attention you do pay attention whether you send me whatever it is or not i know some of you do but you do have some brothers and sisters will would like to you know say sister Karen, you've said this this is happening and for me it's good because i do not watch the news I don't listen to the news. I don't go and watch and read and stuff like that. So even though I'm talking to you, I don't know if even this water business, I don't even know if it's breaking news over here in Babylon. I have no idea. So whether or not it's breaking news or not, it is truth. A higher cannot lie. They will mess about with the water, brothers and sisters. Like I say, <coughs> Sorry, I would not be surprised if the wicked comes out and cry pandemic. I wouldn't be. No, 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 no. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out and cry pandemic. But you have to be on your pews and cues. This is a warning message. You must, you must get your water in. Please, please do. Especially if you've got young children. You have to get it in. 
We, 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 we refuse to drink sewage water. Literally. We refuse. And like I said, I have to talk, I have to mention it again. I know I'm repeating myself, but I've got to mention it again. How is it, how is it that you can get the water, bring it into wherever you do your, your stuff, get the water to look like normal drinking water, but you forgot to purify it? How is that? How is that possible? Purpose. They did it on purpose, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. These people are demonic. The love of many, the love of many shall what right wax cold. As we get closer in time, as we get closer and closer to the ending of days, you will begin to see the serpentine bloodline come to fruition. Honestly, you're gonna see them. You're gonna know them. And these are the seed of the serpent. So. <laughs> We know exactly what's going on, all right? And um, you have to be on, like I said, the pews and cues. But yeah, that's what's going on in Babylon. But the vision, I'm going to do the, the playlist on water contamination or what water shortage. Have I got a playlist on water shortage? Or I might have a playlist already on water shortage. I don't, I'm not sure. You'd have a playlist on water and food shortage. Yes. I think I have a playlist on water and food shortage. Check the, check the playlist, brothers and sisters, before I go and do any. Check the playlist on that, all right? So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with the higher, just like Enoch, of the mindset of Job, all praises, all beautiful praises. To the most higher, who lives above the heavens, higher, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In your size, holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible, the Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah, our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.